Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA has one mission right now in FIFA 23 for you and me, and that is they are trying to release the content that can possibly drain our clubs and make us spend coins doing SBCs like this one to get us to spend our coins and get rid of cards in our club, basically mud our clubs before Team of the Year, which is a huge pack-based promo. Now, we talk about this a lot, but this is something that EA do, and we have to just be smart. This week, we even saw it start last week with a lot of these SBCs coming out already. I think it's going to take place again this week and maybe even to a more higher degree, right? More SBCs, more upgrade packs this coming week. We have to talk about that today because those upgrade packs could continue even today on Sunday. So I want to take a look at that and how it's going to impact the fodder side of the market because some of your 83s, 84s, and especially 85s once again are going up in price earlier than expected because that pack, the 100 players upgrade, dropped yesterday. Now, we also talked a lot yesterday about the market crash, right? You guys might be like, Nate, where's this market crash? I was a little surprised today to see that there was not much crashing on the market. But then again, I thought about it and really it just comes down to Nobody has a reason to panic yet. I mean, where is there really some imminent fear about Team of the Year? The market's done pretty well over the past week and a half. Since prices really started to drop about 10 days ago, we really haven't seen too much of a crash since then. It's still going to go down. I really do believe that. It's more of a when, not an if type of scenario. But until we see some sort of catalyst to make people really panic sell cards in this market, it might just be, again, the stagnant market that we've been seeing for the past couple of days. But I do want to talk about that Golden Bappe because it's not like cards aren't dropping. They're just not dropping really fast in price and there's not a lot of panic because that Mbappe is down 40,000 coins and that's a card we have to keep a close eye on with Team of the Year and his card probably being out of packs this coming Friday. So there's a lot to talk about today and of course what to expect today. It's content on Sunday in FIFA 23. We're going to cover all that and more. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's start by talking about a bit of a surprise yesterday and the beginning, just like last week, of how EA is going to try to drain our clubs and drain our coins by having us tempted to do these upgrade packs. Now, if you don't have a lot of coins or let's say your club is in the mud, especially after last week's maybe 83 times 10 or maybe Maybe you've been crafting stuff. Yes, there is the opportunity to get some extra fodder right now, right? We've got the best weekend league rewards we've ever had. We've got these cups objectives in here and plenty of other objectives like the uh, Centurion of Matches that upgrade SBC Chase, the, um, the league SBC, uh, you know, extra objective packs that you get in here too. It's actually not that hard to get fodder right now. But again, EA's dropping a lot of SBCs that people are putting their fodder into and they're doing that to try to get that stuff out of your club before the big pack promo of Team of the Year. They do this all the time. We've talked about it before. It's something very common because they want you to feel like you need to open packs this weekend and in the next couple of weeks as Team of the Year is coming and again like I said this 100 players pack which I really was not expecting this yesterday I mean it makes sense right hindsight is always 2020 when you look back you're like oh yeah that did drop a week ago on Saturday but honestly I thought that was a one-off SBC here it is again right it's available for six days 83 84 85 squads one team of the week required and of course just like last week this made SBC fodder bounce especially on the low tier. Take a look at 85s from about 7.5 or basically 8,000 coins what they were earlier in the day on Saturday. They spiked to almost 10,000 coins. Now they are back down a little bit, especially your 84s and your 83s have risen as well, right? 83s all at 1.3K, 84s at 4,000 coins. And you look inside some of the prices here on these 85s, some of these guys were actually 10,000 coins, right? 9.9 .9 to 10K is what a lot of these guys were after they were in the low to mid 8s late Friday night, early Saturday morning. Now, we talked in yesterday's video about potentially investing in these cards in the Saturday to Sunday time frame. With the way that it looks now, a lot of these have risen up on the low tier, right? The 83s to the 85s have gone up honestly a bit too much for me to want to invest. Now, there are more SBCs that are incoming as well, and today's content, which we'll talk about in a little bit, will really impact this side of the fodder market because if we don't get anything today, if today is a really quiet L content day, then that, those fodder prices, just like they did last Sunday, will probably drop off some more and will create an absolutely incredible opportunity for another short-term investment and quick 
flip, right? But the other side of this story is, what if EA go out and today release another icon pack now this would not follow the same schedule that they did last week last week we had the 88 plus mid or world cup icon on monday and last week on sunday we saw fodder prices drop back down remember last week 85s like Serge Nabry went from about 8,000 coins Sunday morning because of that 80 or that 100 players pack, the same one that we had yesterday. This pack was dropped last week. These 85 rated cards went from the high 8K range down into the, the low to mid 7Ks, and then they boomed back up on Monday with the 88 plus icon that was released when that pack was out. So that's the same scenario that we're maybe looking at this week. But again, like I said, if EA go out and drop a icon upgrade as SBC or some sort of other SBC today that would be a gamble pack, right? We're talking hero player picks, icon player picks, anything along those lines. If they go back to back days with SBCs like that, if they're in full out, try to drain our clubs mode, that would make fodder go even higher today. So on the types of the market right now that I think are maybe still investable, I think the 86s are low enough. They're not that low, but they're low enough to maybe get a couple on bid and club stock. If you think EA is going to drop an icon pack today, that's where I would go. If you think EA are going to follow the same schedule as they did last week, then I would wait to buy these cards until late Sunday night to night as people are getting their weekend league rewards and um you know putting those cards up on the market people are finishing their games getting tradable packs listing the stuff up it'd be a great time to stock then if we don't get any content today right it, it kind of seems like a 50 50 to me but we'll see right ea are creatures of habit and they might be following the same schedule as last week. So I'm probably not going to buy or invest in any fodder unless I see it go back down. I remember perfectly last week buying 85s in the low 7K range. I'm not saying they're going to go that low today. If we don't get any content today, hopefully 85s can go back to like 7,500 coins, right? Or maybe even just below 8,000 coins will be our buy price for these before they start to go up into the week. And especially you think about high rated fodder, right? Look at uh, 91 De Bruyne, 61,000 coins yeah these guys were 67k last week on monday i mean it would take a big icon sbc or a more expensive hero player pick type of option to see these cards go up now if i had to guess what type of uh, upgrade sbc we're getting next between today on sunday or tomorrow on monday maybe tuesday in the next couple of days i do feel like it will be either another icon upgrade or a hero upgrade. Now, we have not had a hero player pick yet. If I had to choose the opportunity of an SBC to drop that would maybe create some panic and also just be like a hype upgrade pack SBC, I think a World Cup hero player pick, even a player pick that's between regular heroes and World Cup heroes. We, I don't think we've had a World Cup or just a hero in general player pick yet. That would be something that would be really hyped that a lot of people uh, would want to do and try to gamble on, right? So we had an icon player pick that was dropped two weeks ago, of course. That could also be the base icon player pick, which would be a bit of an L in my opinion, uh, since base icons are just kind of behind the curve at this point. But I feel like that would be the other SBC that could potentially be dropping either today on Sunday tomorrow and Monday, or maybe Tuesday at the latest. But again, one of those types of upgrade SBCs is going to come. So keep a close eye on the fodder market. And then even as we look later into the week, what, what did we have last week, right? We had the 83 times 10 SBC. I think we will either see the return of that or an 85 times three. We also had an 82 plus upgrade that was added to the code. Maybe just like last week on Sunday, they'll drop another upgrade pack out in the game. I think since this 80 plus upgrade is kind of tied to the objective, maybe that's a little bit less likely today but watch out for another sort of upgrade pack like that even if it's like a simple 83 plus double that is repeatable a couple of times those sorts of packs right now everybody is going to go and do and save for a team of the year with that promo coming so soon just honestly five six days from now right so just be careful with that stuff today and watch out for EA trying to drain coins from your club. Just be careful is what I would say. Some of those packs look really fun to do and, you know, really interesting and maybe even craftable. But especially when you get into team of the year, some of this stuff you're going to look back and be like, man, I wish I didn't do that or I'm glad I didn't do that. So just be very careful. That's the main point of the video today is I'm just trying to warn you guys to be careful. And a lot of you guys know this and stuff, but uh, this stuff right here, just be very careful with these gamble packs as we head into team of the year. Now, let's talk about the market because, of course, prices yesterday, they went down a little bit, but they didn't drop that much. Of course, I could look at the Centurions team and say, like, hey, guys, look, prices went down. Now, 
this is always expected, right? Zlatan from 4.2 million coins down to 3 mil flat. Dropped literally a million coins yesterday. He was just 3 million coins and kind of bounced back up to about 3.3, but he didn't sell and he's kind of back down. Now, I was expecting Zlatan to be 3 mil tomorrow. He dropped a little bit more and a little bit faster than I honestly thought he would, but that's a big price drop off for him. Royce, 250. I sold him last night at 380 right after I got off the video. Uh, Verratti's down over 100,000 coins. A lot of your mid to high tier players in this promo is uh, Salah as well, 900k. They have dropped off a lot. I think they'll drop down a little bit more today. We do have squad battle rewards today that will maybe some people are playing squad battles to get some of those objectives done, like for Berardi and stuff. Um, there will be a few tradable packs hitting the market for those today. I do expect to see these cards dropping down a bit more, but then I also think they could rebound a bit into tomorrow on Monday. So watch for low prices today. Here, we will still get lightning rounds. We will still get packs in the store. That is a given on the weekend. But the rest of the market really didn't drop off too much, apart from this guy, um, Mbappe, 770 like all day yesterday and is now kind of down at like 720,000 coins. This is not low enough in my opinion to be buying right now. But as I've said, we're keeping a close watch on this card specifically because he will be going out of packs for team of the year as he is expected to get a team of the year that will be in packs. So I still don't think this is low enough. In my opinion, I think there's going to be further panic later on this week, but keep a close eye on this card as that was one that that was one card that actually had a bit of a drop off yesterday. Some cards and it's really the midfielders. I know we looked at Conte last night. Conte was way too low last night. He was a really good buy at 800k. He went back up, but a lot of your Premier League midfielders and just midfielders in general are down. I think it's a combination of the Fred, right? I overlooked that a bit in yesterday's video. Fred's price and Fred's card definitely impacting Conte a little bit too, but all mid Midfielders in the game, specifically Prem midfielders, seem to be down at the moment, right? We looked at the Conte yesterday, the Yaya, um, and then that card, Bruno Guimaraes, that we just looked at right there. All these Prem midfielders are down because of kind of the trifecta of midfielders that were dropped. Even Verratti, that trifecta of midfielders in the Centurions promo this weekend. So I think that's why some of your mid to high tier and even some of your lower tier mids are down because people want to try those cards. But in total, the rest of the market, like I said in the intro of the video, it's going to take another sort of catalyst type situation or something else has to create panic on this game because right now just the fact that team of the year is coming in five days has not created enough panic on this market to make prices drop a ton, right? Really not a true market crash type situation like we have seen in previous years. Now, granted, you cannot look at the market right now and say that the market is up in general because look at Mbappe, right? Literally, uh, last weekend, he was 840,000 coins, and today he stands at 730. So the market is dropping, but it's just not in the fashion that we usually see for a team of the year market crash. So you take a look at other cards in the market as well. It's not the exact same story, but card prices have just slowly dropped instead of it being like a sharp drop off, right? That last weekend time frame, Yaya was uh, one, 2 million coins last week on the 7th and is now down to 1.7. But, you know, that's just kind of the market that we're in. We need something else to happen, whether it's the end of the voting, which the voting I think ends tomorrow and Monday, like really late. So it's like early Tuesday when the voting ends. If it's leaks that start getting stuff out there, if it's a loading screen, maybe on Tuesday, it's really just gonna be kind of a waiting period until we see the switch flip and we see some cards drop in price. I still do believe that there will be price drops. Um, and I know when I say this, and I have to mention in every video because a lot of people get in the comments, they say like, yo, Nate, you're just making this video to create a market crash. No, honestly, I mean, we talked about selling cards from our teams literally a week and a half ago around even before the market started to drop off on those graphs that we were just looking at. So a lot of you guys have known that if we have tradable cards in the club, it's very more risky to be holding on to them. Uh, we've been saying that literally for like a week and a half, two weeks now. So we are obviously knowing the market is headed down. We are just kind of waiting uh, for that kind of rock bottom or timing the low, right? It's really tough to get the absolute rock bottom price on a lot of these cards. I look at Kamavinga right now, 415K for him. That's really low for a Kamavinga card for where he has been. I'm just, I didn't really watch the market personally. I didn't trade yesterday. I try to take Saturdays as a true day off and not uh, try to trade too much. But I just noticed yesterday that there wasn't a ton of crazy price drop-offs like we originally were expecting. So we continue to wait. We continue to see what it takes to make the market really drop off because there's still gameplay demand as well. And we've seen that recently, just a little bit more on this market really fast. 
I mean, yes, we're waiting for some sort of catalyst to cause panic, but after the Winter Wildcards promo, the new player base of players that have been on this FIFA game uh, since Christmas, there's a lot of new players, I really do believe. I wish I could, like, ask EA or see the stats or something of how many new players have gotten FIFA or been playing the game since Christmas because that's when the market really started to go up and there, that's when the demand kind of changed and there was a lot more demand as people get coins, buy cards for teams and stuff like that. So... I think it's all of those factors and just the fact that the team of the year panic is not set in yet for most people. That's why we haven't seen a market crash. So we'll keep watching the market and seeing where it goes here over the next day or two. Now, what I want to talk about here at the end of the video is just other content that we maybe see today. There's one sole leaked SBC uh, and it, it's barely even worth mentioning. Alex Fernandez is added to come as an SBC during Foot Centurions. Uh, these are his expected stats, I, I think. Um, it kind of reminds me of the Raul Garcia, except don't slander Raul Garcia. That man is a beast. If you've watched the streams, you know. So if that comes out, hopefully it's cheap because that should be pretty cheap. And the last thing I want to talk about here is I want to look up a tweet that I saw yesterday and talk to you guys about this. Um, Dina Talley. And this idea of like foot hero team of the years has been going around on Twitter, on Instagram, because I think a lot of people saw Dina Talley post this. Um, I think chat guys that called you chat again, man. You're not the YouTube chat, you're the YouTube comments, right? Anyways, I really feel like this is just a concept. And I think if you actually look below this tweet, this was just a concept post by somebody who was like making a cool image and saying like, wow, wouldn't it be sick if we got team of the year heroes? I don't actually think uh, that we are actually going to get the team of the year heroes, right? I saw a couple of people tweeting about it. Heroes and icons, both are getting team of the year cards. Uh, I don't guys be careful with the stuff that you see um on the twitter machine because this guy this is also the same guy that said we were going to get wins if your opponent quit on a draw in foot champ so that obviously does not happen but i saw dina Talley and i saw a couple of people tweeting about this dina Talley post yesterday i think dina Talley just literally posts um concept graphics that are maybe tweeted at him or these tagged him because at the top of this picture right here it literally looks like two people's profile pictures that made a concept um, and then whipped this card up and is like, oh yeah, this would be sick, right? Well, it, it would be sick and a team of the year hero would be insane. Uh, until we see some really concrete evidence around that, just take that with a big time pinch of salt because it feels to me like it might not be legit. But that's just something I saw on Twitter yesterday that I wanted to bring to your guys' attention. I'm sure that you guys have been seeing that as well and been talking about it because that would be pretty sick, right? The concept is amazing but it doesn't look super real to me. Now, we did get the mini release yesterday. We had Rafa, Coleman, and Palois, and I think these guys are worth covering just for a quick second because, I mean, this Palois card is not bad. And let me talk about the um, showdown as well. Palois is about, what, 20,000 coins? I mean, I'm not going to compare him to the um, the Winter Wildcard center back that we had last year that took the game by storm, Kaza. But I think this guy is actually a really solid card. 2-2 two -two is not good, but left footed's kind of nice. Medium high. His pace, you definitely need a shadow. 97 strength, 90 composure, 95 aggression. Decent card for 20,000 coins. That's one that you don't have to worry about losing too many coins about because he's already so cheap. So I'm a fan of that. The Rafa super sub card um, is exactly that. A nice super sub with 94 pace, 90 dribbling. So a nice card that if you want to throw it in uh, for some extra pace as a super sub late in the game, that's a cheap card there. And then our other mini release card, uh, I don't even remember who it was, Coleman, mid. But if you're an Everton fan, then boom, you have a nice right back you can try out for your team. And then I want to talk about these uh, showdowns really fast to end the video. And yesterday I tweeted out, I was like, man, these are an absolute W. I, th I think I still stand by that, but that was maybe a slight overreaction. I think it's just a W. The reason why I think that is, these are both, especially Mkhitaryan, a very meta FIFA player, right? You guys maybe remember foot birthday Mkhitaryan and previous special cards from this guy. He's always very meta for the five throw weak foot finesse shot, outside foot trade. Does he definitely need a plus two to be usable? Absolutely. If Inter win this game, we're talking 80 physical, 86 passing, 86 shooting, 89 pace, 90 dribble. That looks like a really, really good card in a center attacking mid. So if they go ahead and win this game, 60k for this card, not that bad. And then Origi, this is a dub for me. It's just a straight up fun card for like 30, 40,000 coins, one squad, five star skills, 99 heading accuracy. Uh, like this to me is just cool. So I'm a fan of this. GG's to EA. I love it when they make players that are not that usable. 
incredibly usable and like surprisingly usable with the five star skills and there's so much Syria hype right now in the game i'm i love it so ggs the sports with that showdown game is on wednesday and i honestly just saw this as well the ea sports super cup of course ea has got to release a showdown for a cup that they sponsor of course, there's a tie there. So anyways, that is going to be the video for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoy Sunday. Good luck with your champs games, of course. If you guys enjoyed the video today, again, leave a like, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.